The value of the dollar rises as demand for it does. On the other hand, if the demand declines, the value also diminishes. When international parties, such as foreign nationals, foreign central banks, or foreign financial institutions seek more dollars, the demand for the dollar rises. As of right now, the U.S. energy crisis has improved the U.S. terms of trade, which is a measurement of the prices for a country's exports relative to its imports, making the U.S. a big beneficiary of the dollar's rise. Although there are anomalies, since 1913 the purchase power of the dollar has been progressively declining. This is a result of inflation and the consumer price index's ongoing upward trend over time. The CPI and dollar buying power are inversely correlated. The purchasing power of the dollar gradually declines over time as the CPI rises. The ongoing increase in the cost of consumer goods and services over time is known as inflation. The total number of products and services that may be purchased with one dollar is decreasing as these costs rise. The world's central banks are often said to need to work together to guarantee economic stability since sustained inflation often arises when the world's money supply outpaces economic growth. This isn't always a negative thing. Asset prices can grow steadily in a context of controlled inflation. Homes and other tangible things gain value as a result. The CPI and inflation are both impacted by recessions and other significant economic events. Due to the decreased demand for consumer goods and services during a recession, the CPI frequently decreases or increases at a slower rate. What do you make of this occurrence? Is inflation essential for economic expansion? Please tell us in the comments.